Bye. Your bitch, she the racks and she do a handstand Nigga, you broke, you don't got no bands, man Hop at the coast, I'm dropping my pants, man oh. uh, I ain't the same Alright guys, welcome back to another tutorial Today I'm gonna be doing something a little different I'm gonna be doing a transition And this transition looks amazing As you guys saw in the intro It's, it's amazing uh, Anyways, let's get straight into it This is also gonna be really simple So, hopefully more of you guys who are like beginners Can follow along better because it's <laughs> very simple. So first thing you wanna do is have your two clips um, already kind of synced up to the song, you know, make them black out where you want and then the other clip comes in when you want. And this little gap that you create is gonna be how long your transition is gonna be. But once you have your two clips set up, you want to duplicate the first one. And you wanna go on the very last frame of the clip. So, so for me, it's right here and you want to control shift D to cut it and you want to right click and freeze frame this just pretty much locks your frame in position just like that so it kind of freezes there you see now that you have your freeze frame all you got to do is add my preset all right now once you add my preset you're going to see that's very bright and you're going to see that the animation doesn't look like the one in that transition what you want to do is go over to your side part right here in your effect controls Go to gradient layer one and switch that to the name of your layer. And there you go, now the effect is actually there. Just like that. You might want to cut your clip at the bottom so it doesn't interfere with anything right there. Just like that, you can see your transition is the first part of it is done. You can see it slides just like that. Bam. Alright, now once you have your first half done, you want to start working on the second half. So I'm just gonna split this for convenience. So now for your second clip, same thing you did for the first one. Duplicate it, and then cut out the first frame. Just like that. Right click, time, freeze frame. And now you could drag this out and it's just frozen. I'm gonna adjust this to my clip, just like that. So it's smooth like that. And now you wanna add the second preset. And once you add that, you can see the keyframes might be a little weird. You can adjust them to your liking but you want to make sure that these two kind of overlap so it kind of gives that smooth and just like that so maybe something like that you see that looks really nice you want to do the same thing with this layer make sure you put the gradient layer one to the name of your track so for me it's this one right here and there you go you have your card dance effect or the pixel there you go, your transition is done. You can add little shakes to the start, like right here, to maybe make it look a little smoother. But just like that, I honestly think that looks really nice. And it's very simple to do. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this was helpful. Make sure to follow my Twitter and Instagram down in the description. Make sure to subscribe and like. I'm trying to reach 1,000 as soon as possible. And I'll catch you in the not have got the memo. Uh -huh. Oh, you ain't know we keep the lead like a pencil. That's off the top of the way I did.